Hey everyone and welcome back to Get Ready because today's story is a wild ride, my friends. This is how one guy, armed with the truth and a whole lot of patience, exposed his ex-girlfriend's web of lies. Our story begins back in 2016 with a guy named Alex. Alex had been head over heels for this girl, Jenna, for three long years. Little did Alex know that storm clouds were brewing on the horizon, threatening to shatter his perfect world. In January 2017, Alex's life took an exciting turn. He got accepted into his country's armed forces reserve program as a combat engineer. But there was a catch. The training was beyond intense. From February to April, Alex was put through the ringer at basic training. Jenna was his rock throughout the ordeal. Her constant support kept him going. However, this was just the first hurdle. Advanced training over the summer meant Alex had to be sent 400 kilometers away. The news of the summer training hit Alex hard, but Jenna seemed to take it in stride. Summer arrived and with it came the gruelling reality of advanced training. The only thing that kept Alex going was the thought of Jenna. Distance makes the heart wander. Alex pushed himself harder, determined to overcome the challenges. Meanwhile, back home, Jenna had been navigating life without Alex. But as time went on, a void began to grow in her life, a void that Alex couldn't fill from afar. When Alex finally returned home, he was a changed man. Jenna, too, was different. The excitement of seeing Alex again was quickly overshadowed by a growing sense of disconnect. Their conversations felt strained, their laughter forced, the spark they once shared was flickering, threatening to be extinguished. As the weeks following Alex's return turned into months, the tension between him and Jenna continued to escalate. Their two-year anniversary rolled around, an event that should have been a joyous celebration. Instead, it became the catalyst for a major blow-up leaving their relationship hanging by a thread. The following days were a blur of sadness and regret for both Alex and Jenna. Three days after their explosive fight, Jenna reached out to Alex. They met at their favorite coffee shop, the place where their love story had begun. By the end of their meeting, a fragile truce had been declared. The initial joy of their reunion was short-lived. The easy banter they once shared was replaced by a tentative dance of careful words. Alex, still grappling with anxiety, found it difficult to fully open up to Jenna. Jenna, misinterpreting his withdrawal, felt increasingly insecure. Adding to the growing rift was Jenna's newfound protectiveness of her phone. Deep down, a seed of doubt had been planted in Alex's mind. One Friday evening, Alex decided to surprise Jenna with a home-cooked meal. When he arrived at Jenna's apartment, his heart sank. Standing in the doorway was Jenna, her eyes wide with surprise. But it was the figure behind her that sent a jolt of ice through Alex's veins. There, lounging on the couch, was Ryan, a guy Jenna had casually mentioned meeting at a work event. Despite the nagging unease, Alex tried to salvage the evening. Later that night, as Jenna lay asleep, Alex reached for her phone. He unlocked the phone, his heart pounding, his stomach churning with fear and anticipation. The moment Alex's eyes scanned the messages, his world shattered. There was irrefutable proof of Jenna's betrayal, a digital trail of deceit. He learned that Jenna and Ryan had been secretly seeing each other for weeks. The realization hit Alex like a physical blow, knocking the air from his lungs.
As the weight of Jenna's betrayal settled upon him, a strange calm washed over Alex. He carefully placed Jenna's phone back on the nightstand. He lay there, his mind racing, his body frozen. As Jenna's eyes fluttered open, a flicker of guilt crossed her features. Alex simply gathered his things and walked out of Jenna's apartment, leaving behind the shattered remnants of their love. The days following Alex's departure from Jenna's apartment were a blur of confusion and pain. He moved through life in a daze, the weight of Jenna's betrayal a constant presence. He threw himself into his work, desperate for a distraction. Just as he was beginning to find peace, a new wave of torment crashed over him. Jenna launched a smear campaign, determined to salvage her reputation. Messages flooded his phone, each one filled with venomous lies. Rumors spread like wildfire, turning him into the villain. Friends turned their backs on him, swayed by Jenna's lies. The weight of Jenna's deception threatened to crush him. He received a message from Jenna, a desperate plea disguised as an apology. She admitted to her infidelity, but begged him to keep silent. She claimed that exposing her would ruin her life. She offered him silence in exchange for preserving her facade. Alex stared at the message, his blood running cold. Jenna's audacity fueled a fire within him, hotter than any pain she had inflicted. He could have exposed her then, could have watched as her world crumbled. But revenge, he realized, was a dish best served cold. He would not stoop to her level, would not allow her to drag him down. He would play the long game, where truth, not anger, would be his weapon. He responded to Jenna with a simple OK, masking the storm beneath. He would play along, gathering the evidence to dismantle her web of lies. From that moment on, Alex meticulously documented every interaction. And when she slipped up, he would be ready. As the weeks turned into months, Alex watched and waited. He kept Jenna at a distance, carefully maintaining the illusion that he had moved on, that her betrayal no longer held any power over him. He knew that any sign of anger, any hint of his true intentions, would send her running, would give her the opportunity to further spin the narrative, to paint herself as the victim. True to form, Jenna, lulled into a false sense of security by Alex's seeming indifference, grew increasingly careless. She would send him late-night texts, her words dripping with a mixture of regret and self-pity, complaining about Ryan's flaws, about how he paled in comparison to the man she had lost. She would reminisce about their shared past, painting a rosy picture of their relationship, conveniently forgetting the role she had played in its demise. With each message, each phone call, each attempt to draw him back into her web of manipulation, Alex's resolve grew stronger. He meticulously documented every interaction, his phone becoming a digital repository of her deceit, a weapon he would wield when the time was right. He knew that the truth, no matter how long it remained hidden, would eventually come to light, and when it did, he would be ready. Section 2, The Masterstroke, Exposing the Truth. After months of meticulous planning and painstaking patience, the opportunity Alex had been waiting for finally presented itself. Jenna, in a moment of reckless abandon, made a fatal error. She sent Alex a series of text messages, her words fueled by alcohol and a desperate longing for the validation and affection she was no longer receiving from Ryan. The messages were explicit, filled with admissions of guilt, confessions of her love for Alex and pleas for another chance. Alex's heart pounded in his chest as he read through the messages, his finger hovering over the screen. This was it the evidence he needed to expose Jenna for the liar she truly was. He had debated endlessly about how to exact his revenge, about how to inflict the maximum amount of pain without compromising his own integrity. He had considered confronting her directly, had toyed with the idea of sending the messages to Ryan, of letting him deal with the fallout of her deceit. But in the end, he decided on a more impactful, more permanent form of retribution. He would not give Jenna the satisfaction of a private confrontation, would not allow her to explain away her actions, to twist the narrative in her favor. He would expose her for the world to see, would ensure that her lies would no longer hold power over him or anyone else. Section three, justice served the aftermath. 
Armed with an arsenal of digital evidence, Alex spent the next few days meticulously compiling the most damning text messages, emails and voicemails from Jenna. He organized them chronologically, creating an irrefutable timeline of her deceit, a digital tapestry woven with her own words, her own admissions of guilt. He then printed out copies of the messages, along with a brief explanation of the situation, detailing Jenna's betrayal and the emotional toll that had taken on him. He addressed envelopes to her parents, her grandparents, her closest friends, even her employer, ensuring that the truth would reach every corner of her carefully constructed world. The impact of Alex's actions was swift and devastating. Jenna's carefully crafted facade crumbled around her as the truth of her betrayal spread like wildfire through her social circle. Her parents, once so quick to judge Alex, were mortified, their initial anger replaced by shame and disappointment in their daughter's actions. Her friends, shocked and disillusioned by the revelation, distanced themselves, unwilling to be associated with her deceit. Jenna, stripped of her support system, her reputation in tatters, was left to face the consequences of her actions alone. She reached out to Alex, her messages filled with rage, with threats, with desperate pleas for forgiveness, but he ignored them all. He had given her enough of his time, enough of his energy, he was done being her victim. Section 1. The Sweet Taste of Karma the fallout from Alex's masterstroke was like a tidal wave, crashing down on Jenna's world and leaving nothing but wreckage in its wake. Her carefully constructed facade, the web of lies she had so meticulously woven, unraveled with shocking speed. Her carefully curated image, the one she had so desperately tried to protect, lay in ruins, shattered by the weight of her own deceit. Word of Jenna's betrayal spread like wildfire through her social circles. Friends she had known for years, friends who had once showered her with praise and admiration, now recoiled from her touch, their faces etched with a mixture of disgust and disappointment. The invitations to parties and social gatherings, once a constant fixture in her life, dried up overnight, replaced by an eerie silence that spoke volumes. Even her own family, blinded by their love for her, couldn't ignore the undeniable proof of her actions. Her parents, who had once welcomed Alex into their home with open arms, now struggled to reconcile the daughter they thought they knew with the master manipulator revealed in the cold, hard evidence he had presented. The disappointment in their eyes, the shame they wore like a shroud, cut Jenna deeper than any words they could have spoken. The Section 2. Silence speaks volumes. As for Alex, he watched from a distance as Jenna's world crumbled around her, his heart a strange mixture of satisfaction and emptiness. He had craved this moment, had fantasized about watching as her carefully constructed facade crumbled to dust, but now that it was happening, a part of him couldn't help but feel a pang of sympathy for the woman he had once loved. He received countless messages from Jenna, each one more desperate than the last. She raged. She pleaded, she threatened, but Alex remained steadfast in his silence. He had given her enough of his time, enough of his energy. He refused to be drawn back into her web of manipulation, refused to give her the satisfaction of seeing him break. His silence, he realized, was more powerful than any words he could have spoken. It was a testament to his own strength, his own resilience, his refusal to allow her actions to define him any longer. He was moving on, not with anger or bitterness, but with a quiet sense of peace that came from knowing he had finally broken free from the chains of her deceit. Section three, the final word on pro-revenge. And so my friends, the story of Alex and Jenna serves as a potent reminder that sometimes the most satisfying revenge is not about inflicting pain, but about reclaiming your power. It's about refusing to allow someone else's actions to dictate your worth, to define your narrative. It's about choosing to rise above the fray, to walk away from toxicity with your head held high, your integrity intact. Alex's journey, though born from pain and betrayal, ultimately led him to a place of strength and self-discovery. He learned that true power lies not in seeking retribution, but in embracing the truth, no matter how painful it may be. He discovered that forgiveness, though it may never come easily, is a gift you give yourself, a way to release the burden of anger and resentment and step into a brighter future.
Remember, my friends, that revenge, though tempting, is a double-edged sword. It can consume you, leaving you hollow and broken, or it can empower you, propelling you towards a life filled with authenticity and self-love. The choice, as always, is yours. Choose wisely.